I have tried to build a chatbot for my WordPress website with many tools and usually those tools just simply don't work, they look terrible, or even if they work they are very hard to set up. But finally, I have discovered a tool that actually does this for you in a very easy and simple fashion, and that is called Jotform WordPress Agent. So if you want to have a customer service agent on your website that can answer any question related to the contents of your website, I will show you exactly how to do it in just a couple of minutes in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. And to use this awesome WordPress plugin, just click the link in the description of the video. So that will direct you to the page where you can install the plugin for your WordPress website. And once the installation completes, all you need to do is upload this plugin file on your WordPress website. So you need to sign in as an admin, then go to the section where it says add plugin, then click upload plugin and choose the file you just downloaded. Once you have done this, just click install and the installation will take place in a couple of seconds. Then once the installation completes, click on activate. And now you should see a new plugin added to your plugin store called Jotform WordPress Agent. And also you should now see the Jotform Agent icon on the left hand side of your admin view in WordPress. So to start using it, click on that icon and click try now. It then prompts you to sign in. You can sign up with Google to save you from the hassle of having to remember yet another password. And once you have signed up and signed in, please let Jotform allow access to your website. This is necessary because otherwise the plugin just won't work. Then just simply give the chatbot instructions on how to operate on your website and that's literally it. For instance, here's how I have set up my chatbot for my site. Provide customer support for my users by answering questions related to my website content. Don't search for information outside my site. If I haven't covered the topic, just let the user know that no answer was found on this website. Then just hit create AI chatbot. Then just wait for a while. Next, it is time to pick a persona for your chatbot. I chose mine to be a funny looking 3D avatar. Then give your AI chatbot agent a name and a role. Then feel free to tweak the rest of the settings in the agent persona section. That is language, tone of voice, the greeting message and whatnot. Then pick your agent style. And by the way, you can use this existing color scheme so you don't need to be an artist to pull this off. And notice how handy this is. So anytime you make any change to the outlook of your chatbot, you will see a live preview of what it will look like on the right hand side of the view. And yes, you can also try your AI chatbot here as well. So you can literally have a conversation while you're designing it too. Then it's time to choose the visibility for your chatbot. So from these settings, you can specify how you want to display the chatbot on your website and in which particular pages. The layout option allows you to select the look of your chatbot. For example, you can go with something minimal. Then the position setting allows you to position the chatbot on a specific corner or place on your website. Then you can tweak the pulsing settings. So if you want your avatar that is the chat icon to pulse, then you can also choose if you want to have the chatbot open by default. And you can also choose in which types of devices you want to show the chatbot. And as I mentioned, you can also tweak the visibility on specific pages. For example, if you are already on the support page or a contact page, you might not want to see an AI chatbot there. So for example, let's try this with the contact page. In the advanced visibility section, choose the page option from the dropdown and choose contact as the page you want to disable this chatbot on. And then last but not least, we have the knowledge base section. So this is the place where you can give some additional information for the AI chatbot. So you can, for example, specify additional URLs from other domains. You can drop in some regular text or some files. So in addition, for the AI to learn the contents of your website, you can give it some additional resources based on which it can then give answers to your customers. 
But if you don't touch this section, it is completely fine. The AI has already learned the ins and outs of the contents of your website. And once your AI chatbot is ready, just hit publish. And if you don't want to show it on your website, just hit unpublish. But basically, once you publish your website chatbot, it will show up in the place you specified, which for example on me is the right bottom corner. And now you can start asking questions for the chatbot and your customers can do that as well. And just to make sure that it actually works, you can try it with a couple of simple questions. For example, I have created content on my software review website about these AI face generators or these AI headshot generators rather. And I wanted to know from the chatbot what is the best AI headshot generator right now without having to read all these blog posts. And the AI chatbot answered it perfectly. So the answer is spot on. It is exactly what I have told on the website. And I never want to try things just once because it could always be a lucky strike. So I will give it another one. So this time, let us ask the AI chatbot who is the administrator or what is the email of the administrator of this website for collaborations, for example. And as you can see, the AI chatbot once again gave me a perfect answer. So this is pretty cool already. And last but not least, let's try if it actually obeys all my commands, because when I set it up, I told the AI chatbot to only rely on information on my website. So if there is something that I have not covered on my website, the AI chatbot should refrain from answering that question. So let's see if that is actually the case. So I will now ask my AI chatbot, who is the president of the United States? And as you can see, this is a perfect answer. So it told that it is only going to help me related to the contents of this website. And the AI chatbot does not have thus any information about the president of the United States. So it didn't start to do any kind of research and it didn't start to re refer to other resources, which is exactly what I asked it to do. So this one worked out perfectly on all my tests.